With Jonathan Taylor's issues with the Colts continuing to escalate, the Colts are now trying to scam Jonathan Taylor out of his contract money. This has now resulted in Taylor officially requesting another trade from the Colts, as they have warned JT about putting him on the non-injury football list. As we would see in the report of, the Colts are contemplating placing Jonathan Taylor on the non-football injury list due to a back injury that he sustained away from the team. If Taylor didn't play this season, his contract contract would just move on to 2024, and they would have the right to not pay him anything in the year 2023. We would even see an NFL analyst break down on how bad the NFI list would be for Jonathan Taylor. The team might be placing him on the NFI list because of a back issue, that he had no such back issue, and that the reporters needed to get better sources. Player, a player can be placed on the NFI list suffers an injury away from practice or not at the team facility. If you're on your own, sure. if you're if you're on a jog in the Bahamas and you twist your ankle and you break it and you're going to miss three months and that's going to cost you half the season, the team has the right to withhold any amount of your base salary that you're going to miss during the time that you're recovering. Now, even though the Colts have came out and said that Jonathan Taylor has a back injury and this was non-football related, JT himself would actually respond online stating, for one, I never had back pain. For two, I never reported back pain. Not sure who the sources are, but find new ones. Despite Jonathan Taylor claiming that he never sustained any sort of back injury, the video of JT would then be released and he looks very stiff and very awkward. We're giving away a PS5, including copies of the new Madden 24. Subscribe and like the video to be entered. Based on how he was walking in that clip, do you see any sort of injury that he might have? And were the Colts right? While his injury status still hasn't been confirmed, we would then see the Colts now sign running back Kenyon Drake to the roster, as JT is not wanting to be with the Colts anymore, and his backup Zachary Moss has just recently broke his arm. The Colts had to go out of their way and sign a new running back, as they will use Drake to replace JT for the time being in training camp. Despite Taylor being extremely frustrated with the franchise, he is still showing up to the camps to avoid fines, as we would see him watching Kenyon Drake at training camp. This stems from how the Colts owner Jim responded to Taylor's trade request, as he would go to release two public statements that read, If I disappear tonight and Jonathan Taylor is out of the league, no one is going to miss us. The league goes on. We know that. The National Football League rolls on. It doesn't matter who comes and who goes. And it's a privilege to even be a part of it. Following it up with, We're not trading Jonathan. End of discussion. Not now. And not in October. With the Colts owner practically showing showing no care in the world for what Jonathan Taylor wants, this has only gone to continue to escalate their issues, making it even harder for both parties to resolve this. We would then see an NFL reporter speak his mind about Jonathan Taylor asking for trades. What is your reaction to uh, Taylor uh, wanting to uh, take his talents elsewhere looking for a trade? Yeah, a little bit surprised, but not really, Larry. I mean, he's been clearly disgruntled on Twitter. There's been rumors that he's wanted to talk to Jim Ursay about potentially getting an extension with the Indianapolis Colts. But the thing that's going against Jonathan Taylor is this running back market is what it is. So yes, he's come out and asked for a trade, but my question is, where do you want to go? It's starting to seem as if the only way this can get resolved quickly is if he gets traded away from the Colts and can get paid elsewhere. As the Colts owner has clarified, they will not be offering him a contract extension and they do not want to trade him. However, if the price is right for JT and the Colts would eventually agree to a trade, then it would work out for both sides. As when looking at what teams could be options for picking up Taylor, the two main ones seem to be the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. However, you can never count out the New York Jets, as many analysts believe that Miami could be the best landing spot for him. The Dolphins running back room right now only consists of Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson, which aren't the best backs in the league. 
and the Dolphins are set on making a run to the Super Bowl this year. If they can make the addition of adding Jonathan Taylor in the backfield, their offense will be nearly unstoppable. Having Tua at QB, he's looked very impressive. Alongside his two wideouts of Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle, ever since these two have been a duo, they have been the best receiver duo in the league. Dolphins analysts would agree the move with JT would help Miami get the last push they need for a deep playoff run. What's a good fit for Jonathan Taylor? as far as a fantasy fit. It would, again, it would be Miami. You know, I, I think you just look at what they like have that. in store, you know, with what Tua Tungvaluwa can do when healthy. Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, the passing game is there. You know, just looking for a team, you know, a, a running back that could sort of put them over the top. You get a player like Jonathan Taylor on your team is going to make that team that much better. Miami is the team I think that everybody's looking at and saying if they get a running back, that running back becomes very fantasy relevant just because of the situation. The Dolphins wouldn't have to extend JT either. They could just use him for the last year of his rookie deal, hope it helps them get deep into the playoffs, and then just let him go in free agency if they choose to. However, if the Dolphins aren't willing to spend a little trying for their Super Bowl, then the Patriots would greatly benefit from Jonathan Taylor on the roster. One NFL writer even spoke on why the Patriots would be a perfect fit, which goes to read, New England has a 15 mil in cap space, most of their draft picks, a struggling young QB that could use a top RB, offensive coordinator Bill O'Brien, who traded for a top running back in Houston, plus an increasingly competitive AFC East division consisting of the Bills, Jets, and Miami, which all look like very strong opponents, especially the Buffalo Bills, as the New England Patriots will need a boost to their offense if they want to keep up. Overall, a trade for Jonathan Taylor will be complicated to get done, as one ESPN reporter said, I've asked around about Jonathan Taylor's trade value, and it sounds minimal for many reasons. Most notably, it's a one-year rental, as one GM noted, next year's running back market will be saturated. No team is likely to do a long-term deal now when a running back value can keep dropping. This is making it seem as if no team is really in a rush to get a star running back because if they just wait one more year, then these would be the following free agents in the year 2024. Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, Jonathan Taylor, Tony Pollard, Austin Eckler, and maybe even Dalvin Cook. The supply and demand is going to shake a position that's already facing a daunting road ahead. This makes getting a trade for Jonathan Taylor that much harder, and unfortunately, it doesn't really look like he will be traded. If you're a really good team who views Jonathan Taylor as the icing on the cake, you're not going to want to pay the the Colts the draft capital that they want. Right. If you're a team that's already got a pretty good back, like you don't need to trade for Jonathan Taylor. There are teams that are bad that probably would get better with Jonathan Taylor on their team. The Cardinals would be a better team with Jonathan Taylor than they are right now. Why are they going to ship draft Rocks capital and spend yeah. a lot of money on a guy who might take them from like a three or four win team to a four or five win team, right? However, sources have been claiming since recording this video that the New York Jets could be sneaking in for Jonathan Taylor. With days going by and no signature yet from Dalvin Cook, Aaron Rodgers freeing up a lot of cap space, it's almost seeming as if a Jonathan Taylor push will be in the works for New York very soon. As JT is a running back that has now reached over 4,600 yards, 36 touchdowns, and an average of 5 yards a carry. Plus, he was a standalone leader in scrimmage yards in the year 2021, yet his team still feels they shouldn't pay him a big bag, even though he has done so much for this team. Just like Ian Rappaport said, Jonathan Taylor deserves a contract extension. Jonathan Taylor wants a contract extension, certainly believes he has earned a contract extension, just 24 years old, has emerged as one of the best running backs in the NFL, wants to be paid like that, just does not seem like it is in the cards as of right now for the Colts. They have not yet made a contract offer. As we can't forget when Ian officially broke the story on Jonathan Taylor requesting a trade. Jonathan Taylor, the all-pro running back for the Indianapolis Colts, has formally requested a trade from the Colts. This after meeting with Colts owner Jim Ursay on his bus, really right next to the field. A somewhat dramatic scene here. Ursay meeting with reporters for about 20 minutes after practice. This news coming just after that. But the reality is this is something that kind of has been bubbling over the last several days. However, this is just the sad reality of the life of a running back in the NFL. No team is willing to pay running backs the money they deserve anymore. They're just so injury prone and have short careers. One year a running back can have an unbelievable year, the next they can completely fall off. A sad example of this would be Todd Gurley. The Colts and Jonathan Taylor, however, they've been looking
looking terrible ever since he requested the trade, which led analysts to believe he shouldn't have even done so. If you're Jonathan Taylor, uh, again, the, the business part of it, you can't act with emotion. You got to act with your business uh, mentality because a team is going to have to trade high picks to get you, and it doesn't seem like teams are willing to do that right now at the running back position. And then they have to compensate you on top of that. So 